Oh, well, we'll do the, the oyster first. Okay, and I see you have this fancy looking glove. Mm -hmm. And I've used a version of these before. You want to tell everybody what this is for? This is a uh, metal mesh glove used for protection in case you slip and poke yourself. It's not going to penetra penetrate your hand. Now, do you use that all the time, honestly? Uh, honestly, I don't, but <laughs> I probably should. Probably should. Been there, done that. Yeah. I know. Okay, so what do we have first? Um, this is the oyster. This is the oyster, uh -huh. okay. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the point of this this knife. Okay. You're just going to want to jiggle it in between the shell. You're at the point. This right? is at the uh, this is at the uh, uh, the wedge, I guess. Mm-hmm. So you're just going to want to wiggle that in. It doesn't mm -hmm. take that much pressure, and then hold it on the cloth so it doesn't slide. Okay. Push and then twist. Push and twist. Yeah, and it might crumble apart a little bit. Okay. But just got to keep working at it. And then twist. Oh, okay. And then wipe off the knife because it's probably going to have some debris on it. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to want to scrape off the top so that you get all the meat. You don't cut the meat in half. Oh, so you're scraping off the top? Yep. From the top half of the shell? Mm hmm. Okay. And well, there's it. an art to this, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And then an oyster is held together by one muscle. Mm hmm. And you're just going to want to scrape that muscle off. And that's on the end. That's on the end, the, the point. Uh-huh, yep. uh-huh. And then that's it. That's very, very interesting. So is this the kind of the, oyster you steam, or is this the kind you can eat raw? You can you eat steam? that raw. You can. Okay, like on a raw yep. oyster bar. All right. Mm -hmm.